Welcome to the Ultimate Meta Sounds Reference Guide, Filters Part 1. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Biquad filter, Dynamic filter, and Ladder filter. Let's start with the Biquad filter. Now, we're not going to be diving into the mathematical function that drives this filter. Instead, I want to keep this as simple as possible. Just know that the Biquad filter is a second order filter meaning that it has a fixed roll-off rate, and the higher the order, the more aggressive the roll-off. On this node, we have five total inputs, the first of which is our audio signal input. The second input is our cutoff. By default, this is set to 20,000 Hz. As a small reminder, the average human hearing is between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. So while you can adjust this number to be outside of that range, it would be unnecessary to do so. Next up is our bandwidth input. This defines the width of our filter. The higher the number, the wider, more inclusive the filter is. Then we have our gain input. There are two things to note here. First is that this gain input functions based on decibels, making it a logarithmic input instead of a linear gain input. The second thing to note is that if you look at the tooltip, you'll see that this input only has a function if the filter type is set to parametric mode. I know this may seem like it's specific to the parametric EQ filter. However, the gain function will also work with the low shelf and high shelf as well. This is used to increase or decrease the gain of the selected frequency range. This segues into our last input, which is our filter type. There are quite a few filters available to you in this dropdown. Rather than bore you by explaining each one, I'll put some images on the screen that may help you understand them better. Now let's move on to our dynamic filter. I know there's a lot of inputs here, but don't let that intimidate you. The majority of the inputs that you see here can also be found on the compressor node, but if you've not yet watched that video, I'll go through these real quick for you. The audio input is where your signal will flow into the node to be filtered. I'm going to skip the sidechain input for just a moment, but we'll come back to it after explaining a few of the other inputs. Moving down to the filter type, we have three options here, bell, low shelf, and high shelf. The low and high shelves are the same as they were in the biquad filter, except we now have more input parameters to control it. The bell filter is in reference to the EQ curve it creates when attenuating. This filter allows you to define a specific frequency and attenuate it up or down. This is done using the frequency input. Just like we discussed in the biquad filter, you'll want to set this to something between 20 hertz and 20,000 Hertz. Next up is our Q input. This input allows us to define how gradual or steep our filter curve is. After Q is our threshold dB. This input allows us to set a starting point for our filter, meaning any signal below this level will not have a filter applied to it, whereas any signal above this limit will be affected. Now that we've covered the threshold, it's time to jump back up to our sidechain input. The sidechain input allows us to input a second audio signal. This audio signal will not be included in the audio output, but rather used as a controller for the filter. If we have an audio signal in our audio input and another signal in our sidechain input, the node will ignore the decibel level of the initial audio signal and instead use the decibel level of the sidechain input against the threshold input setting to determine whether or not the original audio signal is filtered. Now we can jump back down the list and continue on with the ratio input. This is the amount of gain reduction. Inputting one will result in no gain reduction, and the higher the number, the more gain reduction is applied. The knee input determines how hard or soft the curve from non-filtered frequencies to filtered frequencies is. The higher the number, the more aggressive the curve. The range input allows us to define a maximum gain in decibels. 
Using a negative number here will cause a compression effect of the selected frequencies, while positive numbers will create an expander effect. The gain input is used for makeup gain. Makeup gain is gain that is applied after the audio signal has been processed. In some instances, the overall output level of the audio signal is reduced during filtering. So applying gain afterwards allows you to bring the whole audio signal back up to match the rest of your mix. Attack time and release time allow us to define how quickly the filter reacts after the audio signal has gone above or below the set threshold. The envelope mode is a dropdown with three choices, MS, RMS, and peak. The MS and RMS are formulas used based around the average decibel level of an audio signal, whereas peak uses the maximum decibel of the audio signal. Lastly, we have our analog mode boolean. Analog mode on will curve off frequencies that exceed the threshold limit, whereas analog mode off will chop the peaks of these frequencies. The final node to talk about is the ladder filter. Introduced in the late 60s by Moog, the ladder filter is a type of low-pass filter and aptly named due to the shape of the schematic resembling rungs of a ladder. What sets this filter apart from your standard low-pass filter is how it attenuates the roll-off. In a standard low-pass filter, there is a single roll-off curve that attenuates all frequencies above the cutoff point. In a ladder filter, the cutoff point allows additional harmonic frequencies to still come through to a degree. With this node, we only have two other inputs besides the audio input, the first of which being our cutoff frequency. Just like the other nodes in this video, this is where the roll-off of the low-pass filter begins. The other input we have is the resonance input. This input allows you to control the amount of those harmonic frequencies that are still coming through the roll-off. To see the full list of videos in this reference guide, click the link to the playlist in the description below.